And thanks for joining us. Two brothers are in jail accused of attempting to dismember and bury the body of one of their girlfriends. The 17 year old victim had been missing for 10 days before her body was found. Team 12's Adriana Loya spoke to the suspect's family who say the brothers did not kill the teen mom. And we do want to warn you, the details are graphic. This is where Destiny Munoz lived with a boyfriend and one-year-old son, but also where police found her body wrapped in plastic and duct tape, stuffed inside a plastic container. Just to hear that it's right here in the neighborhood, it's horrifying. A 17-year-old woman is dead, and two brothers, Daniel Blas Torreabla and Edwin Humberto Chavez Blas, facing felony charges, accused of trying to dismember and bury her body. Police say Daniel and Destiny Munoz were in a relationship and lived at this home near Central and Ruth Ave. But on October 5th, Daniel's family reported her missing. Court records say that Daniel showed up to his parents' home with a large plastic tow container in the backseat of his Honda that was emitting a strong odor of decomposing matter. The brothers allegedly moved the container from the Honda to a truck and fled. Police later arriving at the couple's home where her body was found in the container in the truck. Records say inside the home, officers found evidence of blood splatter, chemical treatment cleanup, and no furniture. They were emptying everything out of the house and they weren't packing anything. They were just emptying it out. Neighbor Tanya Parasa recalls seeing two Hispanic men throwing away furniture along the road. Just two, two guys. I didn't really, didn't really pay attention to them. Court documents say two days before her body was discovered, Edwin went to Home Depot and purchased a plastic container, a chainsaw, latex gloves, and several rolls of duct tape. In an interview with detectives, Daniel alleged Destiny shot herself in the face after an argument and claimed he kept her body in a plastic container because he wanted to remain close to her. Police say after she was dead, he used her cell phone to message her family so they wouldn't worry about her. That's just, oh, it's horrible to hear, especially when she was so young and leaving a young child. Off camera, the family of the suspected brothers tell me they are sad about what happened, but firmly believe they did not kill Destiny Munoz. The medical examiner's office found that she died from a gunshot wound, but further investigation is needed to determine if that was self-inflicted. Police believe she died on September 26. Adriana Loya, 12 News. Adriana, thanks.